Hello, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning light on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the fscanf function in C. So this fscanf function is used to read the input from a file or read from a file. So it's similar to the scanf function which was used to you know receive the input from the keyboard, but uh, you know this fscanf works with the files. That's the difference. So then uh, the syntax of the fscanf function is here. So as you can see, first we have to write the function name that is fscanf. Then we have to pass the file pointer. This file pointer, you know, it contains the address of the file which we open by using this fopen function. This is similar to the format string which we used in printf and uh, scanf function. So next we have to specify the list of, you know, address of the variables that's similar to the scanf function. So now we're gonna write our program by using this fscanf function and we're gonna read some uh, text from the file so first uh, since we are dealing with the file we declared a pointer of type file then uh, that's because you know we are opening the file using this fopen function uh, and the file name is anil.txt with a mode r this fopen function is going to return the address of the structure which is of type file which contains some information about this particular file we opened then we save that address in the pointer of of type file so then we checked whether our file was open successfully or not uh, if our file wasn't open successfully then uh, we gave some error message like okay unable to open the file so else if our file was open successfully then we're gonna continue now so in this tutorial we're gonna deal with a file called anil.txt I'm gonna open up that anil.txt so as you can see here it's an empty file so I want to write something like hi to that file and save it now here we're gonna use our fscanf function and read that hi from the file and display that so when we read something from the file we need to store that that's why we need a variable and um, it should be of type character because you know we are reading a string value so we need a um, character array it's gonna be let's say data then let me define a size around uh, 10 uh, a semicolon now we're gonna use this uh, fscanf function so it's gonna be yep scanf then first we have to pass the file pointer that is the pf here pf then we have to write the format string so here i'm gonna open up anil.txt as you can see here i want to read the string value high from this file so for the string values we use the format specifier as percentage s so I'm gonna specify here then uh, we have to write the address of the variable where we want to store that value when it is received so we want to store it in the character array data so I'm gonna write that here so this is it now our data array contains the string which is read it from the file so what we want to do is we just want to print it out for that purpose I'm gonna use this print function and I'm gonna say percentage s and I'm gonna refer this data save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we have hi you know it is similar to the one which is present in the file so hi is in there in uh, anil.txt and uh, we successfully read that hi by using our program so I'm gonna close it so here now I'm gonna make it hi anil so now you know this is a valid string that's because you know a string can also contain the spaces so I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna run our program again so you can see only high is received from this fscanf function that's because you know similar to the scanf function when this uh, fscanf function encounters a space or a tab or a new line it just stops there so here it first reads hi then a space is there that's why it, it just stops here and uh, it, it returns this hi to us then if you want to read this hi anil then uh, we have to create another you no know, array here let me call it uh, name and it is as in a size of 10 and here after this hi there is a space so we have to specify the same format here that's why I'm gonna write percentage s then a space percentage yes then here 
after data we are gonna uh, store that uh, received data in the name uh, array so save it then uh, a space here percentage s refer that name here so save it compile it and run it so as you can see here now we have hi anil so this is the one thing you should you know remember about this kind of f scanner function you know when we have a string and then we have some space or a tab or a new line you know it just stops there and it just uh, gives this uh, you know gives the string value back to us so now what we want to do is we want to read some uh, integer values or the numbers also so i'm gonna re replace the contents of this anil.txt with the anil that's my name then I'm gonna add a tab then I'm gonna write my age 23 so I'm gonna save it here just remember the format we have anil then a tab then a number so this is a string a tab then a number so here also we have to specify the same thing so since we are you know receiving a number we, we need a variable of type integer let me call it age and here first we have a name then a tab we can specify a tab using slash d then we have a number that is percentage d first we are receiving the name so now after this percentage s we are reading an integer value that's why we have to specify ampersand h so you know this is the address of this variable age here for the name we are not using this ampersand that's because you know for the character arrays we don't need to specify the ampersand so next we are printing it it's going to be percentage s slash d and uh, percentage d if you want to you know display it in any other format uh, for example you want to you know display my name that is percentage s first then you want to add a new line you can do that you know it has nothing to do with our you know reading the input from the file here so it's gonna be name and the age so this is it save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we have anil then 23 so this is how you can read a string and a number by using this fscanf function so the last thing i want to explain you is about you know the size of this array make sure that you read the string of length which is less than you know this uh, size you specified here so if you read in the string you know which is uh, longer than the uh, you know size of this array then it's gonna write that you know outside your array so that uh, any other variables you may use you know after this will be you know altered and your program may result or may produce some uneven results so this is it this is about uh, the fscanner function so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial